Well, that confrontation is casting a spotlight once again on racial tensions in our city. Today, the Buffalo Sewer Authority suspended a worker seen here shouting at demonstrators. And now, as Dave McKinley explains, the actions of Buffalo police are in question as we continue to hold people in power accountable. At recent demonstrations, including those on Hurdle Avenue, some officers have been observed with tape over their name tags. As you can see here, that's in direct violation of their existing uniform policy. Police Union President John Evans, who declined an on-camera interview, acknowledged all of this. He also said some officers have done this after one officer had his home and family threatened by someone who used their name to find out where they lived and then doxed them. Police brass acknowledge this is a concern. We take this very seriously. You start threatening officers, families, and children, absolutely we'll take that very aggressively and pursue it as far as we can. That concern aside, though, officers are being told by their superiors to stop covering their name tags and that discipline awaits those who refuse the directive. And it's something an internal affairs case would be opened up on and would be subject to uh, discipline by the commissioner. According to the police union, a number on a badge should be enough. After all, you could take that to any police station and then inquire through the badge number about the name of the officer. This way, the union says a citizen gets the information and police get a lead on whoever inquired in case they use it for nefarious purposes. But the problem there is that the badges with numbers are not often displayed on outer garments like jackets or protective vests, and the Sonon shield does not display a number. This issue isn't unique to Buffalo, though. In fact, it's an issue that surfaced at communities across the country in recent months. In fact, in Portland, where clashes between demonstrators and police have reached a crescendo, each department recently allowed officers to shield both their name tags and their badge numbers. But that's something the mayor indicated today is not going to happen here. We expect our police officers to follow the procedure of the Buffalo Police Department. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.